What is going on, YouTube? It's good to see you cats back here once again. I don't know if you guys hang out in any of the groups over on the Book of Faces or not. Uh, I read through a lot of that stuff over there. I don't comment a lot. I do sometimes. But uh, anyways, 14th fret versus 12th fret has been coming up a lot. Now, what that means is some guitars will have, like, the body joint. Let me just show you with this guitar. The body joint on this guitar is the 14th fret, okay? See the 12th fret here? 13, 14th fret's the body joint. On some guitars, that body joint fret is the 12th fret, okay? That's what the, it even says in here. D15, 14th fret dreadnought. I don't know if you probably can't see that. Take my word for it. That's what it says. Uh, what's what's the difference? What's the advantages and disadvantages? Why do they do that? Well, some of the differences is uh, on a 12th fret, where the 12th fret meets the body, uh, those guitars have a shorter scale length, a string scale length I'm talking about. Well, what does that do? A shorter uh, string scale length. What happens there? Well, let's say your first string... Let's say that's a 9, okay, on both guitars. One's got 14 fret uh, body joint, the other's got 12 fret body joint, but they both have uh, .009 for the first E string, okay? On that shorter one, where the uh, 12 fret is a body joint, that's a shorter string scale, tuned to that same pitch and the same size string, a 9, that string tuned to that very same pitch right there is going to be a lot looser. Plus it's going to sound a little different too. But uh, string benders love that, that shorter scale, because it makes the string so easy to bend, man, because it's looser. Whereas a longer one, like this 14th fret one, if you had a really big long one and the 20th fret was at the body joint, you'd have to tighten that string up so tight to get to that note. It would be so hard to be in, so much harder to be in than a short scale would be. And like I say, that changes the sound of the guitar too. It takes away a lot of the, when you apply all that to the low E string, it takes a lot of that thumpiness, that low bass away from it, out of the, out of the, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, man? I can't, I can't think, I like a scale, but it's not a scale. Spectrum man. Anyways, it takes a lot of that bass away from it, and you got more mids and more highs. Well, not necessarily, but maybe a little bit. <laughs> but anyways, that's the that's the two main differences in it. The sound is one thing, and uh, making the strings easier to bend. A shorter scale like that will even make the guitar chord easier. If you're just a beginner or starting out, you might want to think about getting a 12 fret body joint. Acoustics we're talking about. Well, electrics too, they make them. You know, if you're just starting out and your fingers hurt and you get sore or you get your hands is weak or like mine, you know, you might want to consider a shorter scale and it would make the strings bend easier. Plus, it would make the chords, and when you play just chords, a lot easier too. Even if you have high accent, it's still going to chord fairly easy because the strings are so loose, tuned to that same pitch but being shorter. And like I say, the sound changes a little bit. You get more of a thumping bass uh, bottom in. The longer you go, the shorter you go, it's a kind of a little tinnier sound. Uh, but anyways, that's uh, the main difference is in a 14. That's what that means to a 14 versus 12 uh, fret guitar. You know, they obviously have more than 14 or 12 frets on them. But that's what it means. Whichever one meets at the body right there. You know, if it's a 12th fret, the 12th fret will meet the body joint. If it's 14, the 14th fret will. And uh, the differences that I just told you. Hope it helps, man. Answer some questions. Thanks for watching. See you on something soon. I don't know what it will be. Cheers to you. Peace and tranquility. Woohoo! Bookity bop!